Emma Watson, what a picture. Welcome to the yet another episode of The Creativity Show. In this episode, we are going to cover marvelous Photoshop work done by Errol Jelling. Now, every Hollywood celebrities know about Errol. Why? Because he has done some marvelous work in terms of younger and the older version of actors. Let's have a look at his work. Leo started his career in extremely young age and that's why people can find his photographs that was young and when he was old. As you can see very clearly in this photograph as well, the background seems to be a blurry, uh, smoky, brownish figure and the foreground seems to have the some color, color combination. The first important aspect of making sure that you can merge two photographs is the color combination. The cameras and photography is used like 30, 40 years ago and the camera and the photographies and the cinematography used today are absolutely different. The clarity is different, the pixels are different. So whenever you do a photograph of before and after, the very important aspects is the color range. You have to first make sure that you have to enhance the photograph that is in the younger version and kind of decrease the clarity of the photograph that you take in the older version. So what happens is that the new photograph will have obviously all the recent aspects, recent clarity. The photograph which is older, the clarity can be enhanced and that's how you come to a middle ground and then you enhance all those pictures. One by one will come to know about all the pictures uh, like for example this picture like Leonardo DiCaprio. This, this picture as you can see the new version and the old version. So there is a few characteristics that I really want to highlight in every picture. So as you can see here that he is wrapping around his arm just to make sure that it gives a very clear picture that this picture is genuine. But absolutely this is stunning, right? Let's look at Obama. Obama's older version, obviously we are talking about a picture which is black and white at that particular time. So since he did Brock's picture, he also went ahead and did the Michelle's picture. As you can see the younger version of First Lady Michelle, right? Fantastic, an awesome picture, a marvelous concept. Let's look at Friends and you can look at the picture of Jennifer Aniston who is Rachel in this picture. I'll just I'll just zoom in a bit and you guys can understand the what how the picture is made. So this is when she was playing the Friends character. Uh, the background is used as an image. It's, it's absolutely stunning the kind of light combination that uh, Arl is used. And this is a recent picture of Jennifer Aniston and it just makes sense. Let's check out the other Friends characters that Arl has done. So have a look at Joey, Matt's picture of before and after. We know that Matt has also worked from younger age to, in the Hollywood, right? So uh, this is how he looked. The light combination is absolutely stunning. What he has done is that he has taken the brown that is already, you know, uh, was embedded uh, in, in the picture and then he has put some brown on this picture just to, just to make sure that it, it just gives a right effect, right? Fantastic. Uh, let's look at other friends image. Oh, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross looks stunning, right? So I, I don't, I don't see a lot of difference between both of them. But yeah, this is a older Ross with some sort of beer, and this is a the younger version of David. Let's look at other picture, like for example Monica, and uh, as you everyone know that Tom was, Tom was there for a lot of episodes of Friends, right? So have a look at these images by zooming in, and you can understand the how you know details of these pictures are been managed by Arrow. let's move on let's look at some images of the talk show anchors oprah that must be a vintage image of oprah which has been collaborated and made sure that this can happen with the new oprah winfrey's picture and everyone knows ellen right if i zoom in you you guys can come to know about the changes and the color balances that have been maintained just to make sure that you know it gives the right effect tom hanks the old one the new one fantastic i presume so the new one looks better right in the middle age brad pitt uh the brad pitt also started his career way younger madonna lady gaga and britney spears 
Th these are extremely, extremely vintage pictures coming together. As you can see, Lady Gaga in a very young age, and today, Madonna. You know, it, it, it's just, it's just coincidence that Madonna could give the same pose then and now. <laughs> and then, obviously, we can see Britney Spears. There's a huge difference there. Emma Watson, what a picture! Have a look at this picture when she was playing the role of Hermione when she was working for Harry Potter franchise and how she looks today Emma Watson fantastic right and George Clooney I presume so he looks better in the middle age than he was looking younger right <laughs> so you can have a look at what he has done to this picture I'm gonna explain it one by one bit by bit so you guys can understand He's taken a photo in the background and I presume so that photo in the background is basically the photo that is the newer uh, background. Then what he has done is he has made sure that the younger version is also, you know, co collaborated with that. And uh, then, then he has just made sure that the hair color is, you know, matching and, and then the skin color is matching. The biggest winner over here is the lighting, the direction of the light and the shadow that that every light costs if that has been managed well the image actually looks very original that's also an awesome picture of John Travolta and Sylvester Salon wow fantastic right this is what I presume so when he was shooting for Rocky and now how he looks fantastic right oh Richard Gere <laughs> let's look at what he did here the city background making sure that you know they just sit shoulder by shoulder and uh, basically the same pose I presume so this is a quite tilt but the same pose Richard get you can basically have a look at all his work which which is on his Instagram handle that is all Jelic and you can make sure that you know you get inspired by his work in Photoshop to make sure to get a lot of inspiration and to create a lot of creative stuff you can also go to kunal.com slash learn creativity and do these kind of stuff yourself be professional in powerpoint skills be professional in video making skills and just flood the internet if i have missed any you know before after photographs of celebrities that you want to you know share please go ahead and share in the comment section see you in the next episode Bye bye